Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday the 25th of April. So looking at the euro dollar and well we saw yet another sell-off yesterday. Good solid sell-off once again. Um, where to I'm being asked. Um, well that sort of 111.13 area of the uh, monthly S1 looks like a, a possible draw in the near term. There are quite a few um, people starting to stock up on it, and I, I, every time it gets sort of stocked up, um, uh, when I say stocked up, we're seeing uh, traders uh, buying it, buying into uh, by into by in some numbers. There's seventy percent of traders are currently long on it, uh, retail traders, and seventy percent, seventy-four percent on cable. So there's a lot of uh, traders looking on the long side of the euro and the pound at the moment uh, retail traders and I think well maybe they'll have their moment um, but the moment may be relatively modest uh, as we saw yesterday or well, I say yesterday in this uh, retracement we saw well, yeah largely yesterday and more early out late late the day before and into yesterday a little bit but um, what what for us today well I would like to be selling it um, so if it rallies back towards the uh, daily pivot which is uh, well, about 13 pips away um, I will be looking at it at that sort of level but uh, it might have a little bit more of a deeper retrace we'll see uh, at the moment it's quite flat what we can see here I would rather it uh, come in a bit more um, maybe even get towards the 50 but we'll see how it goes um, for now um, of course, those those sort of levels would be more um, profitable to be chasing for the long side, maybe. But uh, I really don't want to be on the, on board for the long side at the moment. Um, so looking for those levels to uh, short into um, cable. Um, cable. Let's just look at the big picture first. And uh, well, it's still rolling over slowly. It's got some near-term lows to run towards the. the uh, uh, one uh, 20, 28 sort of area initially and then there's sort of lower areas just below that um, so still got some points of sub potential support there I don't think it'll be too long before Trump starts banging the drum about the fact that the dollar's overvalued etc and uh, we, we could see some sort of correction, mo corrective move as people fear the fact that uh, they're going to do something or other um, uh, it normally has a correction but for, for now these uh, pairings they're, they're looking soft the pound looks soft from uh, even last week when it's consolidating up here and it's uh, considering to do so uh, so really if it's uh, not really pulled back enough I just want a bit, bit more of a retrace maybe towards the uh, 21, 34, 50 sort of areas uh, 50 pulled in quite a nice retrace yesterday but uh, we'll see if we get sort of a move back towards those levels okay that's the pound um, if it starts pushing beyond that well then just stand clear and where well, we haven't you know it's a case of uh, reassess but uh, I still think there's potential for downside the, the only risk is of course everyone starts shouting downside and of course then it rallies um, and I, as I said there is a bit of big money coming in on the euro I've seen uh, from the uh, analysis I do um, that it might start be buying in but it's early days um, dolly yen dolly yen well it's um, still really chopping pretty much sideways here it's not really done too much it's had a little sort of blip and a sell-off and it, it looks it looks like it when you come down the time for lower time frames it's done a lot more and uh, you, you see it, I mean it, uh, had an almighty uh, shove up yesterday and then it's given all that back um, I say given it all back moved all the way back we've seen uh, this morning we've got the um, Bank of Japan press conference going on I think that's probably about finished now um, suggesting further weakness on, on inflation etc and it could be some time and they're looking at other factors uh, all the same uh, the yen's gaining a little bit here and this may lead towards a safe um, safety uh, move as opposed to anything else. Um, Aussie dollar. It's lucky we got Brexit, otherwise the pound would be so strong by now. Um, Aussie dollar. Um, well, roll, rolling, roll, rolling back here. It's back to its uh, recent lows there at uh, 78, uh, 20 sort of zone. 
Um, maybe due a bit of a bounce, of course, so all this sort of movement is seeing a little bit of a price action, but again, it's, it's really looking for opportunities to sell in. Daily pivot untouched that's above here, um, that sort of area, maybe even back to the 50. It's a long time since it's been back to its 50. These, we could see some retracements back to these sort of levels. Um, there was some sort of divergence running into um, yesterday evening there compared to the morning there so it all rolling through it's diverging for a lot of the day to be fair um, but uh, it's uh, edging its way maybe for a little bit of a retracement but it does look very weak and um, it's not helped by the go slow still on coal ex imports into uh, China etc these sort of things don't um, Give give me any cheer on the Aussie dollar at the moment. At the moment, it still looks weak. But as I said, just wait for retracements to sell into. Um, Canadian dollar dovish tone taken yesterday as expected. It's probably a bit more dovish than some expected. But um, um, as I said in the morning update, it looks like it could be a dovish one. And um, it's just how dovish it was. Well, it was pretty dovish. <laughs> and um, off it went. Uh, softened up against the US dollar. And uh, as you see, solid all week really so far on the upside on the Canadian dollar. Where to today? We're again uh, look for retracements to uh, buy into really um, is my thoughts at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's really there. I mean, if you, if it doesn't retrace and break, there's a trend line across the highs there. Maybe uh, a break of that would uh, uh, be be a reasonable sort of entry level. Looking elsewhere, I just thought I'd look at the S&Ps because uh, you may have noticed uh, they were push pushing. They've been pushing up and solid, solidly pushing up. A bit of a bit of a mix with um, news yesterday. Some of the early, late, later earnings coming out, giving them a bit of a mix. But overall, um, we're still seeing um, well, pushing into really, really highs here um, and back into the uh, all-time high levels uh, there so and I believe Nasdaq broke its uh, levels yesterday so um, there we are um, it's still pushing up at the moment still strong even though well I say even though there's some half decent earnings coming out amongst all this and uh, that may continue so uh, still not one to be shorted I'm sure there'll be a load shorting into yesterday's highs there but uh, um, it could it could be breaking that Right, that's it for me. Um, have a great day. Bye for now.